I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're delighted to introduce you to a very talented author. His name is David Pitts. He has written a great book, a great children's book called Inspector Bugs. It is a charming children's book about a unique English bulldog detective. Join us right now as we explore the world of Inspector Bugs, his friends Penny the Parrot and Mrs. Waddles, and their thrilling adventures in solving mysteries and helping friends in need. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank our team at Prime 7 Media for helping us put him in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support writers like him by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing his wonderful book. The links are below the interview. David, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Good to be here. Thank you. What was your inspiration for Inspector Bugs, by the way? My inspiration was uh, the very first English Bulldog that I had. His name was Hank. Um, he would, uh, what what started the whole thing was whenever a bug or something came in the house, he would chase him. He'd take off after him. And then when we'd bring the groceries in, we'd set him down on the floor and he would stick his nose in the bag. And my wife just came up, coined the phrase Inspector Bud. <laughs> and so um, I started thinking, you know what? Um, I've always wanted to write a children's book. And I figured that would be the way to do it and uh so the rest is history hmm. i decided i would you know because i i love i have uh I, I love writing stories and i love telling stories and something that i inherited from my dad so i uh, wonderful so that's the etymology of the dog inspector bugs but the story itself is very very unique and a Great adventure for kids to enjoy. Tell us how you came up with uh, Inspector Bugs' in adventures. Well, um, my inspiration for uh, writing a children's books in, in general was that, that I wanted to uh, write just a plain, simple book for children to read. And Inspector Bugs was, I, I, I thought, this is going to give me the avenue to do it. And the way we came up with uh, Penny the Parrot and uh, uh, Mrs. Waddles was that uh, when we used to take, we lived up in a city called uh, Rancho Santa Margarita, and there's a lake up there. And we used to take him around the lake. And when we were at the lake, there was a white duck that would come up to the shore and they would come up and they would look at each other. And I thought, you know, this is how I'm going to do it. You know, and then the story just came to me. Um, I, I, I don't know how, I don't know why, but that's just the way I write stories is that I, I just, I think about it and something comes up and the story will just come to me. And I've, I've always been a, a, a very much family and friends. And if somebody's in trouble, I've always been there to help them. Being a mechanic, I, I fixed people's cars and I love helping people. And I just figured this would be a good, um, I like, it just came together for me Wonderful, wonderful. Now, the story uh, revolves around solving cases and finding missing friends. What do you hope young readers take away from it? Um, that uh, one of the important things is is family, friends, uh, helping people, it, learning to uh, how to uh, be empathetic towards people that need help. Uh, that's the only thing I can I I, I can think of as or as, that's that's what I'd I'd love for them to take away from it, uh, which is that they they have uh, they have I can't I can't think for a second here. I'm oh, sorry. No worries, no worries. No, um, but about cooperation, about friendship, about friendship, uh, looking out for you your know. friend. Yeah, if you need help, giving them help. Yeah, that's that was what I was going to say. It was just looking out for your friends, looking out for family. Somebody needs your help, just to 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 do, uh, make sure you're there for them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, um, are you thinking about writing any more adventures for Inspector Bugs? Yes, I am. I have a second one that I, I'm doing, uh, I've written a story. I've got to do the artwork and then I'm going to make, then I've got to go through and make sure that, uh, everything is done the way I want it to. Um, I haven't done any artwork since before COVID, so I've got to get back into practicing on that. And then I'm going to, it's just, a, it's a really rough draft. And it has to do with uh, the uh, hippo at the zoo doesn't like the food that he's getting, so he, he runs away. Hmm. And he goes around the zoo and the food court. Excuse me, my dog is, uh, he's behind me here. Um, 
And what he does is he runs away and he's going into the food court and he's taking people's food and he's going and he's eating anything he can get his hands on, including a birthday cake and, and a baby that he finds. So, and then he runs off into the woods. So they have to get everybody together, all their friends from the woods and everybody, and they got to go look for him. And then I've got a third one where uh, I introduce some new characters into that. Uh, you discover that Inspector Bugs has a brother and uh, they're trying to find this puppy that runs into the city and then uh, he's got to go find his brother and get his brother to help him. Mm. So that one I just, that's just in the planning stages. I haven't. Uh, uh, it sounds terrific. They both sound terrific. So uh, you do the illustrations as well? Yes, I do. It's well, it's awesome. A, Tell us a little a bit about that and your little in your background in art. Um, I've always been able to draw pictures and things ever since I was little. Uh, I love drawing things. Uh, I did a lot of practice of what I how I how I I, 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 I hone the skills for this book was that I I got some pictures of of bulldogs and uh, parrots and. And stuff like that. And what I did was I practiced and practiced, and then I was able to do it. And then when I submitted it for publication, they have a graphic artist that did the rest. Mm -hmm. They used my template and went from there. Awesome. Back around and, and just uh, collaborated on it. So it turned out really well. Gotcha. So you like you created the uh, prototype, and then they went from there to build the uh, necessary. It's a combination series. of both my artwork and theirs. Yeah. That's great. Wonderful. Have you envisioned this as an animated series, perhaps, or something like that? Yes. Yeah. Tell us about your uh, hopes and dreams for that. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, one of my dreams is to uh, either have it become an animated cartoon or maybe a movie uh, for kids, because there's not a lot of good cartoon animated movies for kids anymore. I mean, right. I noticed that like when they... They brought out uh, movies for kids, and they turn out to be a little more adult than than they yeah. should. Be. And so, uh, I would hope that uh, that's my that's what I, my ambition is to eventually make this into a movie. Well, I think it'd be great uh, as a movie or a series. Um, and right. like you said, there's a lot of stuff out there that's quote unquote for kids, but it's really adult humor uh, dressed right. up as uh, children's fare. So I think yes. that would be a great addition to uh, the media world for sure. And uh, have you had the pleasure of reading this book to any children? Um, no, I have not. But I have a lot of friends at work. Uh, mm -hmm. that I, I work for a municipality. I work for the police department mm -hmm. um, in a local one of the. I, I can't tell you who it is. They don't. Sure. They're not allowed to. But um, I work at the police department. I build and maintain their police cars. And the um, what they call the uh, uh, their uh, service officers that work in each each uh, school mm -hmm. uh sro school resource officers what they call them. right and i've had a couple of them uh bring their 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 the books to the kids they've got like second and third graders and first graders that are in their classes and they will read them to the kids and then they've taken videos of it and sent it to me and the kids love it yeah that's wonderful that's and wonderful I've it great. to friends of mine who've had children and who have young kids mm -hmm. and their kids love it that's awesome. what they our kids love it so and that's what i wanted you know i wanted a, a book that uh, uh it's easy for the the parent to read or the the or an adult can read it to the kids and the parent enjoys it the kid enjoys it and in i don't know if you have any kids but they want you to read the book 50 million times you know yeah, exactly i had um i have two nieces who are all they're both in college now but when they were little they would grab a book and they would come over and get on my lap and say here can you read it to me and i wasn't really impressed with some of the books that they had it was it's like it this is you know that they're marketing this to kids when it's actually adult reading you know right. so right that was my inspiration i said you know i'm gonna make a uh I'm going to make a children's book, write a children's book, so that um, it's enjoyable, it's simple, um, a few words, mostly the artwork, because the kids love the artwork, they love the, they love the illustrations, and that's my whole my whole thing. It's just something that's easy to read, they can learn from it, and it's just, uh, it helps them, and yeah. they have enjoy it. And kids love dogs, and the English Bulldog is quite a unique looking breed. 
So I think it's our great combination along with the other characters in the book as well, that it'll capture children's imaginations. Absolutely. For sure. This is a great book. It is written by David Pitts. It's called Inspector Bugs. It's a charming children's book about a unique English bulldog detective. The world of Inspector Bugs includes his friends, Penny the Parrot and Mrs. Waddles. You will just love their adventures, whether your child is reading to you or you're reading to the, your child. I think it'll also spark important conversations about helping people in need. David, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you for having me. I appreciate being here. It was, I've had a good time. Great. I had a great time speaking with you as well. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time until next time on Spotlight.